Hi, this is Brian Forster, and I hope that I'll be seeing some of you at Contact at the Desert in California in June. So, this is a quadcopter video. We're located above the city of Cusco, and if you look up and to the left, you'll see a site called Kenko, and where the quadcopter is, is another ancient site called Little Kenko. You can see all of these interesting cutout shapes in the bedrock. Now geologists have told me that these cutouts were likely done several thousand years ago based on weathering and so they are much older than the Inca civilization. So this gives you a closer view of one of the cutouts and that of course is the city of Cusco in the background capital of the Inca civilization and present-day population between 500,000 and a million people. So this is the top surface area of Little Kenko and again you're going to be seeing all sorts of cutout shapes heavily weathered in this metamorphosed limestone bedrock. There's a cutout shape coming up right now and some in behind and then if you look to the right hand side you'll see almost like a little throne or something but whether it was a throne we don't really know there it is on the right side now and then now the quadcopter is slowly pulling back so you can get more of a detailed view of stairs carved into the bedrock and these what seem like random cutout shapes Kenko itself, which is the more major site, is much more extensive, especially on the top, in terms of all these cutout shapes. And also, if, if you do visit uh, Peru and Cusco, in the background is the great site, <clears throat> you can't see, but of Sacsayhuaman. Now the quadcopter is pulling back. That of course is me. There is Cusco in the background. And so we're going farther and farther and farther and then you're going to see a megalithic wall. Right now. The smaller stonework on the left side is Inca repair work to a much older megalithic structure. So this is taken from another angle and again look for the different cutout shapes and depressions in the ancient weathered metamorphosed limestone surface. And there again on the right side is the so-called throne but there are actually hundreds of shapes like that located in this general area. And then pulling back once again, we're going to get a different angle of the megalithic wall. And there it is. And now the quadcopter is moving forwards, obviously, and on the right hand side you see the megalithic wall, and then on the left upper area, that is the main site called Kenko, and Kenko in the Inca language means zigzagged. And unfortunately you're not allowed to film up on top of it, so I did get as close as I could without attracting the attention of the guards. 
But if you have a big screen TV, you'll see all of the cutout shapes. And there is Little Kinko. Now here we are once again. You can see the Inca repair work on the bottom of the screen on the left and Cusco in the background. This is a brand new little quadcopter that actually folds up and can fit into my pocket. The resolution and quality is absolutely incredible. And so this is the final view of Kenko. Once again, trying to get as close as I can without attracting attention. But you can see the size of it, massive outcrop in comparison to the size of people. And there's a megalithic wall on the right hand side. Now across the street from Kenko is another ancient location called Cochaspata. And here once again you can see some megalithic cutout work. And then on the right side much later Inca work. This site uh, was recently restored by archaeologists and has only been open to the public I think for about a year. In the foreground you can see the obvious Inca stonework partially repaired, the roofing being put over top to protect the rebuilt structure, but there is also megalithic cutting here as well. We'll be seeing more of the bottom right hand side of the screen to show you that. So here you can see some cutout shapes on the right hand side. And what we know is that at all major Inca locations and some minor ones there's always older megalithic work and that's the probable reason why the Inca decided to do their construction there as well because they likely thought of the ancient work as being sacred made by the quote unquote gods and it's my estimate that the ancient megalithic work is 12,000 plus years old whereas the Inca work is 500 to 1,000 years. So now we're inside the structure at Cochaspata. Mainly Inca work as you can see with the little wall constructions, but there is also some megalithic work inside too. You have to look very carefully. And now we're scanning across this rock face that has some megalithic depressions on the right hand side and then later Inca construction here. And now we're going to see what's up and over the hill. That's the great thing of course about having a quadcopter. Is the fact that you can see things that you physically can't get to or would be very difficult. So we're not seeing too much. And now we're going to scan the area once again that has the ancient megalithic cutouts and depressions. There you can see some on the left side and in the middle. And now scanning across it. Once again you can see there on the right side and in the middle and more and more of these ancient cutout shapes are coming into view. There's a protrusion in the lower middle of the video. And then scanning down from the top, you see the ankle work in the background. And then coming down to where the restored area is. Again, the repair work was done within the last five years, I believe. And finally, another side scan of the Inca construction. There are some hints of possible older work here, but almost all of it seems to be Inca.
So thank you so much for watching. I do have a thousand plus other videos on my YouTube channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell so that you're notified the next time that I upload a video. And on average, I do one every four days. Here's my book about Puma Punku and Tiwanaku, available at Amazon if you're interested. And these are upcoming events. Contact in the Desert at Indian Wells, California in June 2019. Go to contactinthedesert.com. Also, we have a tour of Elongated Skulls of Peru in August of 2019 at my website, hiddenincatours.com. And in September, we'll be exploring Turkey, all of the famous sites there. Thanks again for watching.